Hey, what's up? Uh, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom level from scratch and then get it into the Gold Knife for the Nintendo 64. Uh, the tools you're going to need for this are the Hammer Editor for the map creation, uh, Crafty to convert our BSPs to an OBJ file, XSI Mod Tool where we'll be doing the texturing work, um, adding some flat polygons and doing some optimizing. We're going to need Blender to convert our XSI format OBJ to a readable one by the setup editor, and lastly the GoldenEye setup editor. Also you're going to want to get your hands on a hex editor. All these programs are free so let Google uh, aid you in finding them. So right now I'm just uh, whipping up a quick uh, demonstration map. It's going to consist of two rooms connected by a hallway. So three rooms all together when we put it into GoldenEye. I'm not going to be going into great detail about making maps for Hammer, as there are plenty of tutorials out there to help you with that, and the same goes with XSI. Just mostly be showing you how to get these into the game. One tip I will give you for Hammer is to shift drag copy. This will speed up your map creation by a lot. Also, if you are new to Hammer, avoid using the Carve and Hollow tools. As convenient as they may seem, it's a good practice not to use them, and can cause some problems when you do. So uh, before starting this project, I've created a folder within the GoldenEye Setup Editor uh, directory. This is where we'll put all our files for the level project. And in Hammer, uh, in the Options dialog found in the Tools menu, go to the Build Programs tab and set the Place Compiled Maps folder to your project folder. Not that this is really necessary, but it makes it convenient to have all the files in one place. Now it is possible to do all your texturing within Hammer, but uh, I decided to do it in XSI. For one thing, converting all the weird sized GoldenEye images into a format that the WAD file supports is a pain to do. Also, it is quite important to make sure your level has no leaks. Uh, this will help us out during the compile process. If the compile log says uh, that you do have a leak, it's quite easy to find out. Under the uh, map menu, go to load point file and from there a point file should have been generated upon finding a leak so uh, click on that and follow the line. You might have to repeat this many times for as many leaks as you have but uh, it's a good way to do it. And an even better way to do it is not to make any leaks at all. To get the angle on the stairs I uh, use the clipping tool which I'd say is one of the more important tools in Hammer. I recommend using the clipping tool rather than the vertex manipulation tool for situations like this because the vertex tool can produce some undesirable effects. So now I've decided that I'll show you how to do the see-through railing effects. So I'm going to modify this hallway to accommodate for it. Now I'm not going to be creating any part of the actual railing in Hammer since it doesn't like working with single polygons, but uh, we'll just leave room for it and deal with that in XSI.
So now that we've completed our map, I'm going to seal the top off with a uh, large brush. It's not the prettiest way to go about doing it, but uh, since we're going to be applying a whole no-draw texture to it, and uh, well, for the most part, since we do, weren't doing it as we went along, select everything and put the no-draw texture to it. Now what we're going to do is pick a texture, it doesn't really matter what texture you do, but paint the walls of every polygon that you want visible in the game. This will take uh, long processes and it's uh, best bet to do it uh, while we're making the map. So now that we're done, take a little quick look around to see if we've uh, missed any spots and if all is good, we'll be uh, compiling our map. And uh, we should be done with the hammer editor. We're going to load up Crafty, just take a quick look around, see if everything compiled properly. Just looking around for um, any uh, out of place polygons. Yeah, I see a few, but we'll clean those up in XSI. For the most part, it compiled well. So now you can export the map to an OBJ file. Now before we go and load our OBJ file in XSI, we're going to figure out what textures we want to use. Open the image viewer from the Golden Eye Setup Editor and start picking out your textures. Here I'm going to use this gray block kind of texture. My naming convention usually consists of uh, the name that I'll associate it with. For this part I'll uh, use gray and I'll spell it wrong because, uh, well, I don't know. And then usually follows a four digit preset number. I like keeping it in the file name because it's easier to look out for and use for later. Also what we're going to put in our uh, project directory is a file called the textures.txt. This will help us import our textures from the OBJ file. The format of this file is just the texture name, actually something comes first, the four digit preset number followed by a space and then the texture name. You will have to do this for every texture that you add. So now I'm going to look for a nice uh, railing texture. There we go. And uh, I'll save that as rail plus uh, the preset number. And we will also add that to our textures, uh, our textures text. Now XSI is kind of funny. It won't uh, support right out of the box uh, GoldenEye textures. So what you're going to need to do is open up paint and draw a little colored dot on it. That's what I do. I pick red this time and uh, just resave it. Just doing this little step makes the images viewable by XSI. So now we're going to import our OBJ file. And if we zoom out and all was good, we will find our map. One problem is that everything is sideways. Since Hammer and uh, XSI and GoldenEye uh, use a different axis, uh, I guess... Half-Life uses uh, Z as a height, whereas uh, GoldenEye uses Y. Um, so yeah, just take a look around. Uh, those are those obscure polygons that uh, kind of got through the compile process, so we'll just delete those. So now, as we can see, our uh, total polygon count is 666, which is uh, kind of a funny coincidence, but if we don't do anything about it, uh, the larger our map gets, it really will uh, bring hell to our uh, GoldenEye engine. So. We're going to subdivide our polygons into uh, triangles just to actually see uh, visually how the GoldenEye editor will, uh, or the GoldenEye engine will be uh, rendering our scene. As we can see, if we try to uh, weld these polygon or weld these points together, we can see uh, that uh, there are kind of polygons behind, and uh, Hammer does a really sloppy job of putting everything together. So, if we select all the edges, weld them together, we can see that all the blue lines that connect to some walls will be become yellow. And uh, from there, we will start uh, optimizing our map. One method to do it is just take one uh, vertice and weld it to another. And as you can see, we slowly lower the polygon count one by one. Now, this is a very time-consuming process, but um, there's not many other ways you can do it. Now you can see our square 